Hey, this is the Fight Nerd here now at 206 Greeley Avenue in Sayville, New York with Doug Coda at Evolution Gym here. Doug, how are you today? Very well, thank you. He's very well because we're going to be testing out some gloves. This is the first time we've ever actually done a glove review. These are the gloves in question. These are by Ares Fight Gear. These are their pro MMA gloves. Doug, initial thoughts on seeing these guys the first time ever? Uh, very good quality. Uh, they seem to be well put together and I like the enclosure system. We talked a little about our initial impression of the gloves. Now let's get a little facts from the manufacturer. The Ares Pro MMA gloves are made with a cross-directional understrap design to provide wrist support and a unique lateral grip to the hand. The glove features IMF foam technology for a single piece of foam padding in the This glove uses real cowhide leather and has enclosed edges throughout the glove. The palm side features ergonomically designed T-shaped diagonal palm strip that provides a firm grip to the palm side for grabbing and punching. Now, before we check out the new gloves in action, let's talk about the gloves the testers currently use. Doug normally uses two kinds of gloves, one of them being the combat sports, I think these are called the safety gloves, is that right, Doug? Uh, safety sparring gloves, yes. Safety sparring gloves, and you also use the Everlast MMA gloves. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about how you've worked with these two. How long have you been using these two brands? Uh, the CSI gloves, probably about three years or so. Um, we started using them in the gym because that was the glove that uh, amateur MMA organizations were using as their standard fight glove. Another glove here is the Everlast gloves, which are kind of relatively newer to the scene of MMA. Uh, what do you think about these Everlast gloves? Um, these are the Everlast 7-ounce gloves. Um, I like them. They feel very good. They're, uh, they have good wrist support, um, good knuckle support. They, they take a good punch. All right, I'm also here now with Pete Lampasone, who trains at this very gym. Pete, you've seen before in all the many, many vlogs we've done together traveling across the eastern seaboard. So he's using the M1 Global Gloves, which uh, were given to us from, by M1, in fact. Now, tell us a little about these gloves. So these are made by Grant. Yeah, I've been using these since, um, since the second M1 show in the States. For one, it does have really good wrist support, um, and you know, it actually has really good joint support because it's got these little, um, got these little cloth cups that follow past where, the, um, past where the glove would normally stop. But the problem with these is two things. One, they put, um, fits a little tight on the actual indent of the finger. So, like, I would get a lot of marks uh, in here. And the same thing with um, the little extra rings that they put on the, uh, on the outside. Um, if you're working really hard on a bag, you can take it. You'll notice I actually have uh, my... Damage. Yeah, I have them taped up because you could take off a lot of skin from there. All right, I'm also here now with Jared Perillo, who is going to be testing out the gloves as well. And your gloves that you typically use are these UFC gloves here. So talk, yes. talk about a, little, uh, a little about these guys here. These are... Uh, I tend to be more of a jiu-jitsu guy, so... I like these because they're wide open. And now it's time to slip the gloves on, strap on the wristbands, and test these bad boys out by hitting heavy bags, focus mitts, clinching, grappling, and doing anything it takes to push these gloves to the limit. They feel comfortable. They feel good. They take a lot of... They take some hard hits and uh, my hands feel good, my wrists feel well supported. The striking portion of the gloves was iffy at first because I was wearing much too large of gloves I think. But once me and Pete uh, switched gloves it worked out a lot better for me. When we changed sizes the striking actually worked out uh, almost perfectly. Um, it actually felt pretty much almost as good as uh, striking with uh, boxing gloves on. So like really using my hands was very comfortable. I was very happy with that. I felt right. I'm definitely more of an open hand kind of guy, like open hand in the middle. But uh, it was good. I mean, it didn't cause too much discomfort or anything like that. It still felt natural. During the clinch phase, you're trying to grab on and pinch the elbows together and you need your hands to be kind of mobile so you can okay. get a good grip on there. And uh, worked really well for that. Uh, during the uppercuts and hooks, um, the wrist stayed nice and supported during all the uppercut and hook work. You know, pummeling's always slightly more awkward with the gloves than it is without them, because you know, you just have your hands just a little bigger than you're used to. Um, but as far as, like, for the amount of padding, I thought it was good. Like, it, it, there, it felt a little bit awkward, but no more awkward than other MMA gloves, and those ones tend to have a little less around here. Real happy with the wrist strap. Gives it a lot of, a lot of support. Um, the wrist feels really good. These, I think, are the mediums, and uh, they feel nice and snug around my wrist. Uh, only one time, I think during ground and pound on the bag, that I feel them start to slip forward a little bit and I just kind of adjusted them. Ground and pound, it slipped a little bit, um, but not much. I, I was very happy with the wrist support on the whole thing. And the T-bar, real nice, very comfortable. Uh, during the grappling, we were able to grab pretty good. I was able to get some pretty good grips. Um, during some of the wrestling and stuff, I could still, still grip with my hand, the same as with any of the other gloves. I think the, the wrist support was great, and uh, 
I said the knuckle support. Uh, my, my knuckles took a, you know, didn't take much of a beating. They, they gave me some good protection there. Um, if I had to say the worst thing, I'd just say that it's, um, you know, because it's a little bit wider here, and this is just the trade-off, because some of the good things also came from that, the fact that it's a little bit wider in here than uh, most other gloves. Um, it, it also makes, like I said, it makes gripping a little bit, uh, you know, gripping both your hands together, palm to palm, a little bit more awkward, but again, it's, it's nitpicking at that point. As far as I can tell, I don't have any cuts or anything on my knuckles, and uh, we'll put a good, good hour or two into, into hitting with them, and my hands are pretty good. When I was wearing the size down from this one, I did just a little bit, still not a lot. Still like only, like, by now they're already gone. They were just minor bruises in between my knuckles. They're already gone by now. I'd give them a well for 60 bucks, yeah. Why not? I mean, I got other gloves I paid 60 bucks for. They're just as good, pretty much, so I'd say they're worth 60 bucks. You're asking, like, probably the cheapest man you're ever gonna interview. But, um, you know, if you want to invest in, like, a good pair of gloves, something that, uh, you know, you're not gonna, not gonna burn through right away, um, especially if you're concerned about your wrists, uh, I'd say it's worth it. Yeah. All right, so we put these gloves through the ringers. Our combatants have given them all a shot in different types of wrestling, pummeling, striking, groundwork, everything. Doug, how'd it go overall, would you say, tonight? Overall, uh, very well. Uh, striking went very well. We did, uh, we did some bag work. We did some pad work. Um, Gloves held up uh, very well overall. They give good protection to the wrists, good uh, knuckle protection, good hand protection. The wrist strap, um, I'm really starting to like that design, the double wrist strap. Uh, very well, very equal to, to the other gloves. Most of the advantages uh, on these gloves are not available on the other gloves, the double wrist and the T-bar. So uh, I'll give it some time, try them out, so, you know, try them out some more and see how they hold up. But uh, overall, I like the design and you know, they seem to be well made. They seem to be like a pretty sturdy glove. Now, the one problem we did have, however, was the sizing issue, which, as we mentioned, you have to kind of test it from glove to glove. Uh, and I know one thing that they don't do yet is they do not make a small size glove, which is a problem for people like me and some of the people that are at the gym today trying to sell who have smaller hands. So that's one complaint from me personally is that they need to make some more different sizes. Right now, it's medium, large. Uh, I don't think there's an extra large, but nonetheless, hopefully they start making different sizes. Now, Doug, for 60 bucks, are these gloves worth picking up? Yeah, $60 is uh, fair and reasonable. Uh, it's a good glove, and uh, like I said, a little, little more testing, and we'll see how they hold up. But uh, they seem to be pretty well made, so I think they'll hold up just as well, if not better, than the other gloves that we use. I'll we'll have to come back in a year and see how these things have lasted. Now, if you guys want to check these out, you can go to ariesfightgear.com for more information. And Doug, time for you to plug your gym. Evolution Combat Club, www.evolutioncombatclub.com, or Facebook backslash Evolution Combat Club. All right, well, Doug, thanks for helping us out today, and you guys can check out more on thefightnerd.com. We'll see you around for another gear review coming up soon.